Hey, it's Nick from Grayscale Gorilla, and in this series of videos, I'm going to call them like Cinema 40 Quick Tips. Uh, I'm going to go through some some really basic ideas on how to get Cinema 4D set up for your workflow. These are based on some uh, questions we get a lot here at Grayscale Gorilla that aren't necessarily based on um, techniques or plugins or anything more complicated. They're real simple ideas that uh, you may not know that exist in Cinema 4D. So hopefully these will be quick little bite-sized tutorials to get you up and working in Cinema 4D a little bit easier. So in this first one, I'm going to show you how to set up your workspace. So let's head on in real fast. Uh, let's see how quickly we could do these. Um, so you can see I, I have a pretty standard workspace, uh, but it's slightly different than what you may have. Uh, and, it's, and it's definitely different from the standard layout. So I wanna, what I wanted to show you is just how to build your layout uh, in a way that you need it for your workflow, but also in order so you can so you can kind of follow along with our tutorials. Uh, so let's start from scratch. Uh, the, the basic layout, if you go to Window, Customization, Layout, and you go to Startup, uh, this is kind of the main layout for Cinema 4D. Uh, and here's the only changes that I've made to mind. Uh, I've added a few things like, uh, if, you, if you click Render Settings here, that's this button, you get your render settings, and I've just docked this next to uh, our, our main window here. So I grab this little nub, and I drag it on top of this nub, and it makes these uh, tabs here. So now I have my view, I have my render settings, and then I also add my picture viewer. So just click here to get your picture viewer, grab the nub, and then drag it on top of render settings. And then the last thing I have is my help menu. So if I right click on uh, something here, anywhere in your interface, you know, you could right click, and then at the bottom it says show help, which is a tip onto itself, but I have a different video for that. Click show help, and then it's gonna have your help menu, and then I drag this nub on top of the picture viewer, and then this is my basic layout. Uh, but I have to save it, so I have to go to window, customization, and then layouts, and then I could either say, I could say uh, save a startup layout, that's a good way to start. So now save a startup layout, and then if you quit and, and open Cinema 40 back up, it will open in exactly this configuration. You can also name it um, and uh, save layout as, and call it, you know, uh, uh, I'll, yeah, I could call it Nick's custom layout, or you can put your name on it, whatever you want. Um, but a lot of our tutorials are based on this kind of layout. It gives our content browser uh, a really easy way to come over here and find all your all your presets, which I use a lot. And obviously, all the Grayscale Gorilla uh, plugins and packs and stuff all exist in the con or most of them uh, exist in the content browser over here. So I think it gives a, kind of a standard layout. I also keep it pretty standard because uh, you know I want everybody to be able to follow along without a crazy brand new layout. Uh, but that's a really simple one. Like I said, these are really short kind of quick tip tutorials to uh, get everybody caught up on some of the basic stuff that if you're just getting in uh, to cinema, you know, these are some things you could watch to kind of uh, get your scene and get your, get your layout and get your uh, software ready to follow along in a lot of our tutorials. Um, so you can look for a lot of lot more of these quick tip tutorials coming up. Uh, we also have over 250 kind of longer form uh, project based tutorials that are already on the site at grayscalegorilla.com slash tutorials. We have a whole system there where you can click and decide. Uh, we have all, all, all these filters based on if you want an intro tutorial or something more advanced. And um, so the, you can go there and learn more. So anyway, look for more of these soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again real soon. Bye everybody.